Hey all you mathletes, welcome to your first online note-taking session. So uh, we are gonna start out with chapter one, you know, good place to start. Um, uh, but we're not gonna do every section in there. Uh, so we're gonna skip the first section. Uh, if you wanna go through it, just to kind of review how to find uh, the distance uh, between two points and then and the midpoint between two points, you know, you can go ahead and do that. Um, You've probably been doing that since uh, at least geometry. So, I mean, you did it in geometry, algebra two, um, so you can review that on your own. Uh, but we're gonna start with section 1.2, uh, looking at graphs of equations in two variables, uh, as well as finding their symmetry, uh, their intercepts, and determining the type of symmetry. So we're gonna look at the symmetry first. Uh, so we have three different types of symmetry, which you've probably seen before. So we have symmetry with respect to, or, or WRT, uh, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the origin. So let's look at the difference between uh, each of these and kind of delineate out which one is which. All right, so if it's symmetric to the x-axis, uh, that means if xy is a point on the graph, then the point x comma negative y is also on the graph. So you can kind of picture like the x-axis being like the mirror or the, the, the line that divides the graph into like two equal halves. Uh, so something like a sideways parabola that's centered around the x-axis, that would be symmetric to the x-axis. Uh, because you have the point x, y up here, and then you have the point x, negative y down there. So it's only the y value that's switching uh, around in sign. The x value stays exactly the same because uh, you're just flipping it over the x-axis. So if you're symmetric to the y-axis, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, if x, y is a point on the graph, um, it's almost the same thing as it is to the x-axis, but it's now the x value that switches in sign as opposed to the y. So that would be like an, a right side up parabola. Something like that. So if you have your point over here, if you can flip it across the y axis, so the y axis is like splitting the graph evenly right down the middle, um, and you've got the same basic curve on either side, then it's symmetric to the x axis. Okay, now the third one, symmetric with respect to the origin. This is where not just one of the coordinates switches in sign, but both of them. So that would be negative x, negative y. So you're flipping it across the x-axis, and then you're also going to flip it over uh, the y-axis as well. So you flip it over for over both. Okay, so let's look at... This example, so the graph of an equation is given to indicate the type of symmetry. All right, so this first one here, uh, it's not symmetric across the x-axis because like this point doesn't flip down. I mean, there's nothing, there's no curve there. Uh, and the same would be true if you were trying to flip it across the y-axis. Like you don't, this point doesn't actually flip over and be on the curve, but it does flip across the x-axis and then across the y at the same time to make it symmetric across or with respect to the origin. So that would be the origin. Okay, now this next one, kind of easy. It's flipping straight across the y. The y-axis divides it right in half. So that would be the y-axis. Now C, this one's a little different. You got a point up here and it gets to flip across the x-axis. Uh, but you can also flip the point across this way. So it's also the y-axis. But at the same time, it flips down across that way. So it's also the origin. So this one, has all three types types of symmetry. Uh, so just keep in mind too um, that not every graph is, has symmetry. Like it might not even be symmetric across anything, which is totally fine. 
Um, for example, if you had a parabola like that, that's not symmetric about the x-axis, the y-axis, or the origin. So that would not have one of these types of symmetry. So, so they're, they're not guaranteed, guaranteed to have one of them. Okay, so let's test uh, for the symmetry if you have the equation versus the graph. Now, some of you are gonna know how to graph a lot of these, which um, is great, but you also have to know how to do it algebraically. Um, so it's not a hard test to go through. Um, basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to plug in like negative x into the equation and see if you get the same thing. If you do, then it's symmetric with respect to y. If you plugged in a negative y, on its own and then got the same exact equation it's symmetric with respect to x and then if you plugged in both negative x and negative y into the equation and come out with the original again then it's symmetric with respect to the origin so a lot of times you can kind of cut your work down and just pay attention to the exponents so if you're looking at like the y's in your equation if all of the exponents are even then if you plugged in a negative y, your even exponent is gonna cancel out that negative and you get y squared equals x plus nine. So you get right back to the original equation. So that would be symmetric with respect uh, to the x axis. Because that's the definition. If you plugged in y or negative y and you come out with the same thing, then that's symmetric with respect back to the x-axis. So if all the powers on the y are all even, like you don't have any odds, uh, it's symmetric with respect to the x-axis. You can also look for those even powers on the x, um, and if they're all even, like all the powers on x are even, then it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So with this one here, like if you plugged in a negative x, I'll show you what it looks like, you'd have y squared equals negative x plus nine. And that's all you can do. Like there's nothing, that negative stays there because the power is odd, it's a one. So that does not have symmetry with respect to the y axis. <clears throat> okay, so the power on y is even, the power on x is odd. So if you plugged in a negative for both of them, you're not gonna get back to the original equation. So it's only uh, symmetric with respect to the x-axis. No origin, no y-axis, nothing. Okay, so for part B, the exponent on the y is odd. So no symmetry with the x-axis. Uh, for the powers on the x's, you got a mixture. One of them is even, but one of them is odd, and they all have to be even. So there's no symmetry with respect to the y-axis. And then if you wanted to test the origin, uh, I'll just show you what that looks like. You're plugging in a negative y and also a negative x. And then you're just gonna work this out and see if you get back to the original equation. And we don't. Like we're close, but it's a little off. So even it's, if it's just a little off, like you have one little sign that's different, then that destroys the symmetry you're trying to test for. So this one, it was not the origin either. So there is new symmetry. Okay, let's go on to part C. Uh, this one, the exponent on the Y is odd. So the X axis is out. Uh, you got a mixture of odds and evens for the x's, so the y-axis is out. But let's look at the origin and see what happens there. Because you got to be a little bit tricky when you've got a rational function in there. So let's just do it. So plug in a negative y, plug in a negative x. Start working it out. And what I have several students do from here is they go, hey, that's different. And they say there's no symmetry with the origin, da, 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 da. 
and they call it a day. But you're not totally done yet. Because you could take this little negative down here and you could actually multiply it across the equation, which would mean the negative on the y cancels out. So essentially, you're kind of like cross multiplying a little bit, but just only taking this over. And hey, you got the original equation back. So that means it's symmetric with respect to or about uh, the origin. All right, so I'm gonna stop the video here. Uh, this first one was a little bit long. Uh, it's been a little while since I made a video, so I'm not planning on having them all go to this length. Um, but in any case, I'll stop it here and then we'll continue on in the next video.